I must say that I have an anecdote that I think is speaks for fragrances. When you want to steal anybody's thunder during a dinner, you just have to say that you're working for fragrances and then all conversation will stop. I have always been inspired by the way that culture can create change. So I'm very interested in fragrance as a tool of culture, as a language in which people can communicate and how we can see different possible futures through fragrance. My inspirations come from a long time. I've always been passionate on how fragrances can trigger emotions and memories. My great-grandmother, that was a typically Parisian lady, living in the south with me and she's the first one that made me discover some beautiful iconic fragrances. Sometimes we have a common sensation, a common feeling when we smell a fragrance and this is really magical. There is a lot of literature and research done about emotions but just to make it in a very simple way whenever we smell something in this case, a fragrance. Some particles go into our nose and there is some cells that detect these notes and they go directly into our limbic system, to our brain, which is the one that processes emotions and memories. We, of course, have some scientific backing, so we work on a technology at Givaudot that's called MoodSense. So MoodSense is a proprietary patented Givaudot technology that is used by our perfumers and our evaluators to ensure that we're creating fragrances that are going to positively influence our consumers' emotional states. It's something that has also been amplified by consumer insights. So we look at over 55 different emotional states to make sure that we have a mapping in which we can create better fragrances for more positive emotions for consumers. For me, when I go back in the south of France, in my childhood uh, region, as soon as I step a feet out of a plane, the scent of a pine tree in the sea is totally relaxing me. And I really strongly believe that all the scents are power on the brain, on the emotion. The creativity, the source of inspiration for perfumers is very much linked to uh, their memories and their emotional memories. Then they communicate all these emotions to the fragrance they create and hopefully the same emotion, sometimes distorted, but uh, reach the customer. So there is really this idea of communicating not only beauty, not only pleasure, but also different kinds of emotions through fragrance. More than 75% uh, of our emotions are affected by smell. We have a mood research program at CMIS backed by neuroscience, and it's a methodology to analyze the emotional response to specific scents. So it's a three-dimension approach. First, neurometrics. So we analyze the subconscious brain response to scents. Then psychometrics. So we analyze the time it takes for a consumer to associate a specific odor or ingredients to a specific emotion. The quicker the um, association, the stronger the link. And the third one is biometrics. So we study the emotional reaction based on the movements of the eye and the, the face in general. I work also with Team in Geneva for the Motion program and also hand by hand with the perfumers to guarantee that the fragrances we create resonate deeply and emotionally with consumers. In this research, it's amazing, it's fascinating that we have discovered that it's not only about fragrance and emotions, we need to consider other facts such as context and culture. Just to give you an example, when you talk about cheese, if you give the smell of cheese to a French consumer, it's gonna potentially have a positive effect in the brand because there is a culture of cheese in, in the country. But if you bring the same smell in a region or country where it doesn't exist, it could have the opposite, a negative effect. Fragrances absolutely have an impact on our moods and the way that we feel. One of our mottos at Givodon is human by nature and making sure that we're creating fragrances with a love for nature. We want to make sure that we're creating fragrances that are going to communicate consumer moods and are also going to look at ways in which we can create better lives, emotional and ethical lives for our consumers. We look at fragrances that will then create better emotional states and 
a happier emotional world. So better fragrances have your consumers. Emotion and fragrance are very much linked through cultural appreciation and the common memories of people. I think when you uh, evoke the sea, Everybody sees the fresh air, a breeze, some colors, blue, light, and all that mixed together can communicate into a fragrance. So they are feelings related to smells and visions.